there's an option in here to uh, change the window to something that is my, very very annoying and I don't like it so anyways you, you should be able to find it at some point okay now we want unfogged and two-sided checked these options are okay the reason we want unfogged and two-sided checked is unfogged just a general requirement two-sided because unlike StarCraft 2 models WarCraft 3 models kinda did use both sides unfortunately we have that option so because WarCraft 3 is a lot just flat fly like planes and stuff like that and pretty much that. You didn't notice them because the graphics engine took care of the rest. Anyways, now this map here we're using, we're doing as a StarCraft 2 bitmap. Looks like the guy renamed it StarCraft 2 layer. That's alright. And we're gonna go bitmap, make it a 3D max bitmap. And we're gonna go and find our textures. So we're gonna go SU2 maps. We're going to go to Models, Warcraft 3, Units, Human, Peasant, and we're going to grab the Peasant.dds. We hit that button, and then we're going to hit this button, and look, it's applied. Now one thing here, this is where the team color was, kind of where that black stuff is, so we're going to say Alpha is team color. And that pretty much ought to do us. Next thing we're going to do here is we're going to go here, use a second texture, a second material, StarCraft 2 material. Once again, unfogged and two sided. We're going to make another diffuse map, StarCraft 2 layer, the 2.1 tools. We're going to select our texture. Oops. But we're going to hit, we're going to select the other mesh and apply it to that. And looky looky, it looks familiar, doesn't it? Now we're not going to check Alpha's team color, and only one material can have it. That's by from our understanding with the uh, tools. So, anyways, now we got looking right. Is animations need to be renamed now? So we're going to go here. We're going to close this. Well, minimize it, and we're going to go to these animations now. Stand, stand 102, 03, 04, That's fine. Stand gold. StarCraft 2 doesn't recognize a stand gold animation. Now, here's a problem with. Uh, the way StarCraft 2 interprets stand animations, it will cycle through all these stands all the way to stand 04. So we need to rename stand gold something that will only do when it's actually carrying gold. Now StarCraft 2 doesn't have the height selection of stand of animations like Warcraft 3 does, so we're going to call this spell 01. So we're going to have to use an actor event when gold and when stand and when moving updates, you know, not moving, play spell 01. Then we're going to go stand lumber, same deal, spell 02. And then attack. This one we can leave the same, it's just a regular attack. Attack gold though, not the same thing, so we need to use spell 03. <laughs> Sorry guys, I have no clue where that came from. Let me, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's... Yeah, that's probably six since SU2 maps are doing that. Really, really annoying. I hate it. So attack lumber. We're going to call this spell 04. And attack 02. Let's see what this is. Alternate attack. That works. Walk good. Walk gold. We're going to call that spell 05. And walk lumber. We're going to call that spell 06. Remember, you have to control this via uh, actor events. Let's see, death, decay. Let's see what this one does. And death, decay, bone. All right, we're just gonna leave these here because sorry, decay. I really can't use those now. Stand ready. Starcraft two can use that. Stand ready, gold. Well, Starcraft two doesn't recognize that one, so we're gonna have to call that spell. Spell. Oh, seven. And the number next to it, just the index. Spell 07, ready lumber, once again, can't use that. Stand work, doesn't recognize that one in there, so guess what? Spell 09. Stand work gold. I'll just, uh, Spare you the horror of having to do. Oh, thank God, we're almost done. And spell work lumber. This is 
spell 11. Alrighty. Now the animations are renamed such as StarCraft 2 can use them. Some of these we don't actually want because StarCraft 2 can't do squat with them. And then I'm going to take care of all the animation naming. Now here's the part where a lot of people screw up. The bounding sphere. Needless to say, it can get pretty annoying because otherwise you have a selection issue. It's a constant size where it is the sphere you're selecting seems to be off-center. And uh, for instance, when porting WoW models, the common fix is to attach the WoW model to a StarCraft unit so you don't have this issue. People know what they're doing. They'll just take the 3D Studio Max and add the bounding sphere and not have to worry about that. So we're going to go here, we're going to go here, we're going to go to StarCraft 2 Objects, and Bounding Sphere. And we're just going to create this right here. And let's just move it a little bit. And yeah, probably I take care of that. Alright, no, well, one critical step. It will still have this bug unless you do the following. You must hit the link button up here. You must select the bounding sphere. You then must link it to the mesh. If you don't link the bounding sphere to the mesh, it won't work. Critical step there. Um, so, very important thing to keep in mind with this linking it to the mesh, it'll actually work and we won't have to worry about having that selection issue anymore. At least we should not. Sometimes it'll bug out, sometimes they export scripts. I kind of think they don't export them right all the time, but it depends. And maybe I linked it to the wrong mesh. And maybe this was the team color mesh I linked it to, and maybe the other mesh that's kind of the master, if you will. So anyways, I got all that. Textures applied, stuff we don't need deleted, and... Let's see, where did it... Okay. We don't need it. Uh, we're going to go back here and make sure that I didn't lose anything. Okay, there's the pick. Some, for some reason, a lot of times what happens is when the guys do the Warcraft 3 animations um, to get rid of something, like you don't want on screen, they moved it like way down below or way off to the side or something like that. Normally it just made it transparent though, but we can't do that in StarCraft 2. Anyways. So that takes care of that part. Um, there are no real specular amounts of Warcraft 3 textures. Um, you kind of don't need them actually for most of this because remember the units are going to be tiny and Warcraft 3 models happen to not take as much uh, space. So anyways, we got all that done. I'm going to save this as a .max file so I can go back to it in case I screw some screwed something up, which is more than likely. Alright, we got that there. This is all done. Now we're going to try to export it. This is where you kind of need to cross your fingers. Now first things first, I'm going to change this path. I use models, we're going to try P, E, S, Z. Alright. And everything else we kept the same, and let's export. I use 1A because you can often go through like something up to 20 saves on occasion just trying to get it right and you are raging at Blizzard because you don't have the art tools by the time you're done. Like literally just red with anger. I have been there a couple times and then I take it out on them on the forums because for some reason they haven't released art tools yet. Well, my contact says they're still being worked on. I'm not sure whether or not it's true or not. But anyways, we're going to save this as an M3 and hope to God it works. It worked! Alrighty. Now we're going to minimize this for now and we're going to go into the StarCraft 2 editor. Now this will not be the beta editor for this test because... Oh! It did get itself fixed. Alright. I had an error with the beta editor. Do not try to test the map from the lighting editor. It will bug out. Note to self. So anyways, we're just going to use the default editor for now. Ooh, my texture is online. Nice. All right, and we're gonna. I'm gonna open up my specific model test map. A highly prized possession, I'd say. And yeah, Azeroth Wars, real model test one. All right. As you can see, I've ported a fair amount of models already. 
Ooh, the Warcraft 3 and PB system. I totally forgot about that. I'll have to do a guide on that sometime. I made the StarCraft 2 guide, but the Warcraft 3 is probably going to be a video. Or, because I hate screenshots. Alrighty. So we're going to go ahead in here, and we're going to... Import the model, make sure the path was right. Alright. So we're going to import... Now, this, like Warcraft 3, you kind of have to import things in this, well... You're going to have to restart the editor at one point or another to do this. So anyways, we're going to go... And this is the wrong folder. We're going to go here, 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 and here, and by the way, here. Alright. Now we're going to import the DDS and the uh, M3. As you can see, nothing showed up yet, so we're going to save it, and then we need to move the file to the appropriate texture path after it takes us on sweet time saving. Alrighty. So a new path is the same thing you put in 3D Studio Max, remember? I don't think it's case sensitive, but I could be wrong easily. Alright, so we got that. It still, as you notice, won't show up. So we're going to need to restart the editor. Alright, we're going to open the StarCraft 2 editor. And open the map. Okay, we got that, and let's see, where did the peasant go? There it is. And look, he shows up. So that part's taken care of. Now we need to make sure some basic animations work. You're going to have to go through and test them all. Actually, what I'm really testing is the selection circle, whether or not it's going to screw up. So I'm going to go ahead and make my do to die unit, or whatever the test unit is as the new model. What is that first? Alright, so it's not ancient protector anymore, it's peasant. And yes guys, this was for the Azeroth Wars project, but that's moving at snail's pace, mainly because I don't have anyone who knows about Azeroth Wars right now. The guy who was doing it with me kind of fell off and went to Minecraft instead. So anyways, let's open our terrain editor and look at this! Bunch of peasants. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and save this and do a quick little map test. <laughs> 